More chaos tonight over little Kaylee Anthony. A group of people filed complaints with the Orange County Sheriff's Office saying George and Cindy Anthony chased them away from Kaylee's memorial as they were trying to honor her memory. Channel 9's Daryl Nail talked to two women who said they had to run from the Anthonys. Daryl? That's right, Bob. These four women from St. Cloud who say they used to be friendly with the Anthonys wanted to do their own investigation to see who was removing their crosses from the Anthony Memorial. Well, they did their own investigation. Now the sheriff's office is investigating. Lois Peters says every time they left crosses at the site of Kaylee Anthony's memorial on Suburban Drive, they were taken away. We found broken rosaries in the woods. We found broken crosses thrown in the woods. It wasn't just taken away, it was destroyed. So last night, Lois, Denise Hill, and two others from St. Cloud put two more bait crosses at the site and then staked it out to find out who was taking them. According to Lois, George and Cindy Anthony chased them away. We went down to see what they were doing, and there were Cindy and George taking our cross. After they snapped a picture of the Anthonys, the St. Clown residents say George and Cindy and Dennis Milstead confronted them. And it was a picture, like seriously. Wow. Are they going to take my camera? I don't know what they were going to do. Yeah, that was scary. Today, they complained to the Orange County Sheriff's Office that Milstead and the Anthonys chased them down Chickasaw and Lee Vista at a high rate of speed. They were in pursuit of us at high speed. Kid Finders had his strobe lights on, his grill of his truck, like he was an officer trying to pull us over. They say they called 911, but then hung up when they saw a trooper at the intersection of Narcusi and Lee Vista. Lois says the trooper told them all to go home, but she says she still plans on leaving crosses at Kaylee's memorial. We've got the wood to build 30 some more crosses, and we'll keep leaving a cross. Now, we requested the copy of that 911 call from the sheriff's office, but they say they will not release it tonight. This is an ongoing investigation. In Orange County, Daryl Nail, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.